Now, if Zimbabwe's president, Robert Mugabe, refuses to resign by noon today, just about a few hours from now, mm -hmm. The ruling party, ZANU-PF, will begin procedures for his impeachment. Now, Mugabe was removed earlier on Sunday as the president of the ZANU-PF and was replaced with uh, the vice president he sacked. Mm -hmm. In a televised address on Sunday, the 93-year-old Mugabe said he would preside over the ruling ZANU-PF's Congress next month, even though the party had removed him as its leader. The Congress is due in a few weeks from now, I will preside over its processes which must not be prepossessed by any acts calculated to undermine it or to compromise the outcomes in the eyes of the public. However, we cannot be guided by bitterness or vengefulness, both of which would not make would not make us any better party members or any better Zimbabweans. All right, mm. uh, uh, seemingly uh, defiant, but very you know very subtle. Uh, manner, mm. uh, defiant uh, Robert Mugabe there. Well, we have a political analyst, uh, Chuks Umoko, uh, who's joining us in the studio this morning. Uh, good to see you. Good to see on you. The show. Thank you. Well, yeah. Welcome to the program. Well, you came really armed, fully armed with uh, something quite interesting. You've described what is going on in Zimbabwe as the game of snakes and ladders. Let's start from there. <laughs> Thank you. Um, the, the story of Zimbabwe, Mugabe, uh, you know, it's a macrocosm of what you have in Africa. So mm. I, as I was preparing to come, I just thought about what can I use to depict it. And, and mm. the, this concept, when, when we were very young and mm. long time ago, we played this game and we enjoyed it, the game yeah. of snake and ladder. You, you think you're making progress, you get on the ladder, you go on top. Mm. But by the way, you have fewer ladders on the game mm. than, than the, the snake. Number of have a lot, yes. The snakes so you always retrogress. And that's mm. the situation you have in, in in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. Mm. And like I said, it represents the whole of Africa. We just haven't been able to move forward. And he is a symbol of that backwardness. Mm. Um, mm. You know, he is Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe is Mugabe. And you can see him at 93. He's still defiant. Mm -hmm. You know, he, not, nothing has changed. He can't see the end at 93. And that for me is heinous. That is, you know, trouble, troubling. So I, I think that um, something needs to happen by midday today. Mm. And I pray that he does not uh, pay uh, the ultimate price. Really, what Mugabe was to, um, to, to, to Zimbabwe was what I, is what I call political ancestor. He's the political ancestor, mm. he's the grandfather, you know. <laughs> the he was supposed to have bowed Oracle. out. <laughs> he, he needed to bow out like 20 years ago. So that he can occupy that position where he begins to act he, like an ancestor. Mm. You know, the people you have mentored, the people you have groomed will now mm. come consult you and order and order. The way, like said, the way Nelson Mandela did after ab one term. Absolutely. But mm. like I said, in Africa, he, that's how our leader from, from Mubarak to, to Gaddafi and mm. to himself and a few of our guys mm. here in, in Nigeria. It's a sad story, but that's, that's what you have. All right. Now, now the, the way. We're, we're still trying to understand. The, now that the military, the military took, you know, took the stance they took, they say it's not a coup, but the way they handled it, certainly confining Mugabe to, uh, house to his arrest. house, uh, mm. even if you call it arrest or not arrest, but he was confined. Mm. And then he was allowed to attend uh, a university function on Thursday. He is even, he was even yesterday, he was allowed to uh, go, go on TV, national TV to talk. What kind of arrangement? Uh, how, how, I, I, I do you call it respect for him, or why is the military exactly. doing all that? Mm. Exactly. I believe in loyalty. I believe in faithfulness. I believe in dedication, commitment, respect, and all of that for, for a man like that. Mm. But I, I guess that they were not brave enough like the old man. You mm. know, because if by midday they do not do something drastic to get him out of the way, even though I do not see any difference between Mugabe, uh, Zanupia and, and, members, uh, yeah. and the army, yeah. You know, I don't see any difference between them. But even if they 
have faith that they can provide something different. They need to do something by media. But it doesn't seem that they actually have faith that they themselves can, can provide can something do different. That. Yeah. They are already, the powers are down. They are down. Nothing is going on in the place. Mm. And like they so, say, a man who is down needs fear. Yes, no fall. Fall. So what, 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 what are they? What are they afraid of? That's the right question. Mm. What is holding what them is back? Holding them? Do you I think? Believe... Do you think there is a possibility that remotely these people are thinking in their minds? Okay, if uh, after Mugabe, who who else? Absol who next? Is that what is at the root of this? Absolutely. For me, as a Nigerian sitting down in this place, I do not see the, the difference, except I get into the realm of faith, where I begin to trust that something something will happen. Because hmm. that generation, they have nothing to offer Mugabe, it's, um, Zimbabweans. Zimbabwe. Especially as the economy is like the economy of Nigeria, they, they have extractive, basically extractive industry, hmm. farm, uh, mineral resources. Yes. Any nation that operates that kind of economy, you can't make it way. And we're all resident in Africa. Hmm. Now, what I expect them to do was to demonstrate some level of Bravity, because fortune favors the brave. That man has shown more bravery yeah. than this crop of military officers and and, and the rest of them. Mm. So they are not ready. On t by midday, I mean the whole world is turned to to, to Zimbabwe. Mm -hmm. If they do not take any brave action, any drastic action, mm. that man is not going anywhere. Okay, because we know the 12 noon, as far as Southern African yes, time is, is, is concerned, is three hours Southern, Afri Southern African time, mm -hmm. but it's four hours Nigerian or West African time. Yes. But the point there is, we know Mugabe to be Machiavellian. He, he crushes anyone that stands mm -hmm. in his way. He crushes to the core. And but he's been using the military he's been using to achieve it that. All the while. Now, the military is en entrenched in, in, in ZANU-PF. ZANU-PF owns Zimbabwe. Uh, and they are the government, as mm -hmm. the case may be. Now... Uh, uh, Emerson Nangagwa, who is the Armstead uh, vice Dr. president, president. seems to be the, the, the most powerful figure so far, mm -hmm. in a uh, powerful single figure in Zimbabwe right now. Do you think he himself has what it takes to lead the military into de taking these decisions? Uh, may maybe he can. Okay. I, I, I don't know who he is. The, the problem I have with the setup is that I don't know the difference between him and Mugabe. Okay. Mm -hmm. I don't even know the difference between uh, Mugabe and the ministry. But Mugabe needs to step out and let's, like I said by face, see if this vice, uh, vice pres former vice president can bring some ray of hope to the people, mm -hmm. whether there can be any change. That, that's the realm uh, mm -hmm. from which I speak. Outside of that, something more drastic needs to happen afterwards. But Mugabe needs to leave that position so we can have this vice president, if, since that's what the ministry wants to do. In fact, they have brought him back from South Africa. Mm -hmm. The wife uh, has been removed from the party. Yes. Let's see. But today is very crucial. 12 noon today, uh, Zimbabwe time is very crucial. They need to remove him. We, I need to see that dedication, the respect and honor that they have for him, which he has lost, evaporate, and so that they can take an action for the sake of of Zimbabwe and mm. Zimbabweans. Now, let's even look at this speech that uh, Robert Mugabe made yesterday. Let's see what we can take out of it. I acknowledge, quoting him now, the issues uh, they've drawn my attention to, and uh, it was due to their patriotism and for the welfare of our people. Quoting Mugabe. And then he went on to say, to collectively start processes that can return the country to normalcy. How sincere, really, is Robert Mugabe with this... Uh, you know, placative words that he's using that it's not seems to, you know... Mm. He's, he's not sincere. He is wants it, to die tactic. in that position, mm. thinking that that's how he's going to be honored. And for me, his honor is long was supposed to be... Yeah, was supposed to be there if he had left that position and all that. I mean, he would be celebrated all over the world. I mean, do you know that my, my uh, report Mugabe has a lot of proverbs? People, you know, I, I, I see a lot of them. I read a lot of them. And I have not seen But some, that some people to... tend to ascribe every uh, crazy sounding proverb to him, actually. <laughs> well, well, you know, but that does not say, all that that say he didn't have... Um, you know, as a matter of fact, you just said something important mm. there. I mean, this is the right now, he's uh, the most educated leader in the world. Absolutely. Uh, with a country of uh, more than 80% literacy, literacy level. level uh, used to be the, the basket, the, uh, bread the food basket of bread Africa. basket of Africa. Ab today but it's found food. itself mm. where it is right now. Absolutely, they don't have food. Now, the point is, I haven't heard one proverb addressing his situation. Mm. <laughs> 37 years in one <laughs> position. Now, I don't mind they were there for 50 years. But your age is not helping mm. matters. You yeah. go to represent your, your nation in the national, in, in United, United Nations. United Nations. And you're being guided to go and speak. Mm. We have examples that you should follow in, in, in Lin Kuei Yu. 
the former prime minister of, of, of um, mm. Singapore, Singapore, we have enough example where he groomed, um, uh, you know, the man who represented him. Now his son has taken over from that yeah. one. And they have so, uh, some woman, has, you know, one, one woman has become a prime minister mm -hmm. in that country. People that have been groomed and trained, people who have, are dedicated to the same cause, the vision is the same, the dream, the, the, they are patri patriotic and all that. It's an indictment on this Mugabe that is still sitting on that seat. So I blame the military who came. I don't know what they're afraid of. The EU has sanctioned you, uh, your nation. The, 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 the British US. people have mm. done. The IMF has done. So. What are, what's your problem? Mm. Why, don't, why didn't you just take this man out? And, and uh, uh, one of the placards that, the, you, I don't know, Mike, if you saw that placard, okay. that uh, democracy... If I got it right, democracy is not sexually transmitted. Yeah, mm -hmm. it's not sexually uh, transmitted. Course, uh, and they had Grace Mugabe. To his wife, of course, <laughs> the possibility of him grooming his wife. <laughs> I'm to sure take the woman has been him, groomed. But now she's been taken out of the scene. Oh, absolutely. So something needs to happen today. Somebody, the man is old. Mm. Right now, he's not hearing and he's not seeing. And that's the trait of African leaders. Mm. Yeah. The problem is people with black skin. Ordinary scandal, people in other uh, continents, they resign from positions. We don't do so here. Mugabe has laid a no bad example for other peoples to follow. Something needs to happen today, not just because of Zimbabweans, but other well, countries rest of Africa. where you have these sit tight uh, pre uh, leaders. Mm. Now, now that he, he, has, he has proclaimed on TV yesterday that he'll be presiding over the ZANU PF Congress in mm -hmm. December, if Really, let us create a scenario. Let us assume that he does succeed in presiding over that Congress. What implication would it have in uh, this whole military trying to confine him and, and expel him and all of that? What, what, what can be, a would it be a game changer it in would his be a, favor? For me, I, I think it would be a game changer. I see some people supporting him hmm. because I don't know what this man would be doing, even within the ranks of the military. You will find one or two persons who so are loyal to him. Yeah, because why yeah. would you allow him to address the nation mm. yesterday? In the first place. Maybe you know, that, what's maybe that is where the problem is. That's where the problem is. Mm. What's a powerful? He would have won a few people to his side. Now, you are going to allow him to address Congress. What Congress? Mm. The, he, he's been a dictator. You do not allow him to continue to superintend that nation because the people are dying. The nation, they, they, there's no food. This is a food basket, a country that was exporting produce. To other mm -hmm. countries mm -hmm. today they do not have food because he took the land and gave it to people who are not interested mm. in, in, in who in don't farming, know the know how. Know how to farm mm. and that is what Zan, zanu pf members of zanu pf he gave them back they took the land from the farmers and gave it to them that party represents what we used to have here in pdp and they told mm -hmm. us pdp told us here that they will rule us for 60 years it was god who intervened on our behalf so we have some moment of relief before they come back that's what you have in ANC in south africa that's what mm. that party represents in, 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 in Zimbabwe. Zimbabwe. In 1990, and in fact, in fact, if you check the year he made that decision, mm. took that land around, around 90, the year 2000, mm. and you, you look at when um, democracy came back here in 1999, and you look at when uh, ANC, Mandela, came to power in 1994, these things happened almost at the same time. These three political parties, they symbolize evil in our continent, especially mm. now in South Africa, that we're all sitting down here waiting for this explosion that is going to happen in South Africa. Mm. You have corrupt members of these parties who want to wreck their nations. So if mm. something does not happen to even ZANU PF in uh, Zimbabwe, it's just going to be a continuation. But meanwhile, let this man just vacate that mm. seat. But and he doesn't seem well. to be ready. It like is, we, it's, it's just it's obvious he is not clear, going no? to yes, resign. And so, I mean. so it is just the ZANU PF or what, uh, taking the decision on or taking decisive action on, on what they want. Uh, as, as the case may be. It makes you wonder whether the military really, uh, you know, thought this through before they uh, this intervention. They, they did not. That we don't, we don't even know what adjective by, by that address to yesterday. To. That yes. How can... And they surround him. What yeah. loyalty? They, they were all there. The man has not demonstrated mm. loyalty to the they citizens of there. the country. He is a political ancestor. He has outlived his usefulness in that nation. He has missed the opportunity to become glorified as a way. So he needs to be forced out of the place. If you force his wife out of the place, package him and take him to somewhere in South Africa and maintain him and look after him. Because, you know, I guess that because he fought so much. I mean, when I was in secondary school, we read a literature about Kenneth Kaunda, mm -hmm. uh, Southern Rhodesia. Exactly. We read, we read, we read Julius the, Nyerere. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Julius, those were the literatures about this great man. Read, yeah. I thought it was fiction. Mm. I thought they were stories that were like fiction. Mm. So... 
He needs to be forced out of the place. That's the respect they would have given to him. You know what? We need to take you out to South Africa. But the way you. things are looking right now, the optics of it, it looks like the, uh, the Zimbabwean military has betrayed uh, Zimbabweans mm. and Zimbabwe and maybe uh, even the rest of um, Africa. Yeah, they're, they're because, because yes, yesterday after the, the, TV, the TV speech by the president, a lot of Zimbabweans were heartbroken. Yeah. Totally. Mm. I was heartbroken because, I mean, if, if, not just you and I, or Zimbabwe, the whole world, the British people, ev people everywhere. Look, Zimbabwe represented great hope for Africa. So that by the year 2000, where the Chinese, the Russians, mm. Latin American nations were looking for, Africa is a, was an emerging market yeah. at the time. Mm -hmm. Africa, as I speak to you, remains the hope for the whole world. This is the only place you come to, you find vegetation, you find fertile land. Yes. They were looking for places they can go to. That's why Nigeria is also a, a traitor in the same, same direction. Because we have what it takes to make us great by allowing these people to bring investment. Do you know the amount of investment that was supposed to go to, to, to Zimbabwe? Do you to think, Zimbabwe? looking at it, taking it to the, to the international arena right now, is the international community really, really, really honestly ready to uh, get Mugabe out of the way? Really ready to uh, get Mugabe out of the way? It's not or their is responsibility. There some, or is there some kind of conspiracy to, you know, just allow, allow him on? Anyhow? These guys were are, are, are really afraid of saying out, that they, they are carrying out a coup. Mm. Mm. What for? <laughs> what, well, are, what are you afraid of? Because no longer the fashionable. Coups are no longer... We installed this mm. uh, uh, vice president mm. in a month or six months, or even in a year, mm. put your house together, return and, to democracy, and, the and these people will come back. Your resources need to be tapped. You don't have the technology. The world knows that your land, your country, is a land of green and hope for them. Mm. They will bring the investment. They have the money. They have mm. the resources. They have the technology. They just want They're Mugabe out of the way. Mm. Mm. And you just miss the opportunity. If by two, noon today, Zimbabwe time, they do not take that man out. I, I, I don't see uh, Mugabe going anywhere. For, okay. for now, but now the, for yeah. the, 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 after this happened, uh, Nangagwa got back to the country from mm -hmm. South Africa. Uh, uh, opposition leader Morgan Changarai or got back to, to the country. Are we seeing some kind of collaboration here? Yeah, Politicians don't collaborate. Okay. Or uh, some kind of uh, disunity that may be strengthening Mugabe's position. What we need to do is get Mugabe out of the way, like we did in 1999 here. We said we to get. But do you think it's really as simple as that? So this is a man that's been there for almost four decades. It doesn't matter. How easy would it be to remove such a man that exudes such, Gaddafi you know, was confidence? There for how many years? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mubarak okay. was there for how many years? They will always pay ultimate price when you define, when you defile common sense. Mm. Look, the end should be and better than the beginning. Them. Yes. Mm. So when you defy natural laws, when you have outlived your youthfulness, when when you are no longer welcome in the place and you stay back, you will pay the price. Uh, Gaddafi did it. In fact, in in, in case of uh, Gaddafi, mm -hmm. he actually loved these people to death. He yeah. provided for them. He mm. loved them. Mm. Do you understand? The reverse is the case in Zimbabwe. So it was, so it was even better in, so it was in, even better. in Libya than in Zimbabwe. It because there were a group of people who said, look, you have lived your usefulness. Mm. Your time has expired. When you define time and space, you are going mm. to pay for it. Mm. Do you understand what I'm saying? Yeah. So that is the case. It's not how good you are, whatever. You have lived your time, and it's always better to get an ovation at the end of the day. This man has lived his youth. So what they need, need to do today, mm. Shangarai, whoever, the VP, all of them, they need to get this man out of the do their prayer. But the, the thing, what I said to you earlier is that I do not believe there's a difference between Mugabe and Nagagwa. The, the, like Nagagwa mm. and the whatever. Okay. What is going to save South Africa, um, yeah, Zimbabwe, Zimbabwe. Mm. is that in the next five years, because they're well educated, mm. some new crop of young men that are visionary will recognize that the hope of Africa and Zimbabwe does not rest on the resources. Or in their brain, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. but but that's what they are fighting because uh, the Zanu PF is made up of uh, those carrying out this now are the war veterans who are of the old stock. The G40, the G40 is the one with the new, you new know, crop, crop of, of policy. Yeah. They are the ones they are fighting. They are the ones they call criminals uh, uh, around around mm -hmm. Zimbabwe. Uh, absolutely, uh, around Mugabe, them, whatever sorry. name they are, if they have the power of the mind, it can only take a while. They mm. will, it doesn't matter how no, how many they how are. Long? Mm. It doesn't matter what name. In fact, like I always say to people like you, when you get applauded uh, all the time, you need ah, to be there's very, a problem. Yeah, yeah. Yeah. So let yeah. them call them whatever name that they want to call them. If they have the will, the mind power, 
nations do not grow anymore based on resources. In fact, mm -hmm. the problem that we have in Nigeria and in Africa Coast and in most nations, go and take a pen and paper. These countries that are fighting wars, where they are located, they're majorly located in African continent yes. and developing countries mm -hmm. like um, Syria. Mm. Why? Resources that are buried on the ground. But go and check countries like, I, I made a presentation on Saturday in the event that I had in Sheraton, and I, I made a presentation showing Japan, Singapore, mm -hmm. and Israel. Why have these nations made it? It's very simple. They do not have natural resources. In fact, they are marginalized environmentally and in everywhere. Yes. Japan, what do they have? They have two things going for them, three things, water, earthquake, and one hostile neighbor, not, not mm -hmm. Korea. Mm -hmm. Singapore, what do they have? Uh, what do they have? Malaysia said to them in 1955, get out of this yeah. place. Indonesia said, we don't want you. They were forced to live in a tiny island. Was it Bill Clinton that said when he was in Africa that it is not what is underneath the Absolutely. ground? Mm -hmm. but uh, in Israel, what, what do they have? What With is all the marginalization and all that, look at where they are today. Me and you cannot live today. Our children cannot live. You can't have a child and live, grow and all that without uh, a product or a technology from Israel. So we are backwards because uh, owners of the resources mm. where we extract this thing from are militants or they are fighting and all that. For Zimbabwe to make progress, these young men who are well educated must develop themselves mentally mm. and find a new way of life, find a new economy where they can build their nation upon. Yeah. And forget about Nigeria, Nigeria. Uh, we, are, we are interested in oil mm. and how budgeting. Exactly. And um, <laughs> what else? <laughs> EFCC and stealing. And we cannot move forward except we look at our economy and find why is it so attracted to politicians why are they not building businesses and employing mm. people okay now before, ah. before we go in, in all of this what is the role of south africa what should be the role of south africa because we know that they have a lot of influence on uh, zimbabwe what role would they play they have in a very this? bad leadership right now well, they already they're, very they're bad facing their own problem team. All the mm. young men in ANC, mm -hmm. go and check their records. Mm -hmm. It's the same thing we have in PDP. They take their resources, they share it. They're not ready to work. The ordinary people are hungry. What, what, what are you talking about? Is it the president that you're talking about? Oh, uh, we have our own people building a, 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 a what is it called? A statue for a president. <laughs> that's okay, a well, that's, that's another <laughs> Look, matter entirely. It's a bad story. It's all right. I okay, so uh, for Look, Africa. Do you know why we are talking about South Africa? Mm. What they had in South Africa was built by the minorities, by the people who colonized them, who brought apartheid and all that. Mm. Because I am, I, I'm sure they were saying to them, you can't use your brain. So they developed this space for you. So, so the so fundamental question would be, since Africa gained independence, what have we done absolutely. with mm. it? They, they, that's why okay. I brought so this thing to you. All right. Mm. Well, since independence, so what we have done is what I call uh, overdrive, and depicted by the game of snake and ladder. Snake and we make ladder. progress. For four decades, then you next come back to school once. Mm. Thank you very much, uh, Chusmoko, for coming on the program. My pleasure. Thank, thank you, you so much. Thank you for having me. Thank you.